question for you guys. Have you guys ever wanted something like, like a toy or something? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you yeah. couldn't find exactly what you wanted. I has that ever happened before? You were the curtain about a time you wanted something new. You knew the shiny thing you switched to. What if you couldn't find exactly what you wanted? What would you do? Right, but if there was something you, you didn't get, what would you do if you wanted something and couldn't find it? Expect that we might see a word we know. The word no. I think you're right. So everyone, turn to page three and thinking of exactly what you just said. A word that starts with an N, that N sound, starts with the word no. Take your fingers, two fingers, frame it when you find it. Show me the beginning. Sound. Mm -hmm. We might guess. Mm -hmm. but 
figure out. If you listen to that little bell sound, it's just like, oh, oh, this is its name. This word's going to be a little tricky. It is not going to end in an M. What is sometimes another silent letter at the end of a word? So I think this word we might have an E at the end. So we're now open up to page five. You can kind of find home and frame it with your fingers. Page five. Just to read to under your on a little red flag, you're going to stop at the end of page nine. Okay? And when you get to the end of page nine, you're going to need to tell me where they tried to find the home and did it work or not. Did that home work out for them and why or why not? Do you understand? So I'm going to start this for reading to me. What was it seven years ago? It was too 
if they need a new home, their home's too small, winter's coming, and they've gone looking and they can't find it. So they might be feeling sad. What are some other words? Can I, that's a great word. What are some Down. other words? Down. That's another word. What's another word? I shared a word earlier that if you're looking for something and you can find it out, you might feel. Um, frustrated. You might be feeling a little frustrated. Disappointed. Oh, that's a great one. Disappointed. I'm trying and trying. How about, have you ever heard the word discouraged? Yeah. yeah. Discouraged, like you're trying to do something and you're not happy. Like, Am I feeling discouraged? Yes. So now, I want you to just think in your head a minute. Predict in the rest of the book what do you think might happen. They find a really big house. They find like a medium house. Okay, they might find like medium perfect size. A little a door, a, a house with a door where we Oh, I see you using some text clues to help you with that prediction. Guys, can you tell what text clues he's using to help him with that prediction? Anyone see any text clues he's using? So is that helping you make a prediction that maybe they might find this somewhere? tell you guys something I saw you do that was really phenomenal. That is something that great readers do. So I'm you guys do it, and I'm sure y'all did it too. I saw you kind of got the word that was a little hard. You figured it out, but when kind of your reading get a little choppy, does that happen sometimes when you kind of get to a, you went back to the beginning of the sentence and then read the sentence all together to make it sound nice and fluent and help you comprehend what it makes sense. And that is a great thing that readers do when you get kind of stuck on a word. Once you figure it out, you can get back and put it all together. And there's something else I want to talk to you guys today about something that good readers do. They use lots of different clues to help them figure out a word. I'm going to turn to page five so you can see. First line, third word, the word morning. Now, a great clue that readers use to help them with words sometimes is the picture. But you can't really tell from the picture that it's morning. Like, maybe if you knew that, you know. But that didn't really help you. But something that readers do is they take the word apart in chunks. And so a reader might cover up the ing ending. Y'all know that ing ending. And just look at the first part, mourn, mourn, then cover up the other part, ing, ing. And mourn by itself might not make sense. Also, when you look at the ending term, ing, mourn, ing, put it together, then it's morning. So you might look at the picture and say, yeah, but that matches. You could go one letter at a time, but sometimes the y'all are first grade. Y'all are heading into the end of first grade. Sometimes it's good to start getting lots of get letters together in a to help you figure out. I want you guys to think about that. Now everyone turn to page nine. It's our page with our flag. Turn to page nine. Page with the flag. Nope, we're going to leave it in here because we're going to read this book again next week. Okay. Something else I want to talk to you about. Good reader. Pay attention to when words are bold and we kind of know it's an important word to read it that way then. And pay attention to quotations. Quotation marks tell us you're familiar with reading. I'm going to read this sentence. Actually, two sentences. I want you to listen to how I read it. You're not going to read it with me. So I'm going to go to here. That's not a hint. That's not a home for bears, said Mother Bear. It's a home for a moose. Did you guys hear how I kind of use those quotation marks to give them a clue? I was going to read it like Mother Bear was talking. Now you guys read it with me. That's not a home for bears, said Mother Bear. It's a home for a moose. Great job. Let's everyone read it again. That's not a home for bears. Said Mother Bear. It's a home. <coughs> One 
ended up doing a wonderful job. Is there dry rice on the back of this? There is one last thing I want to talk to you guys about that I noticed in this book. And this is a little tricky. They had some words that looked like this. Let's. I'm going to look at the word. Let's. This word has an interesting piece of punctuation. Oh, Think means, about it. That means it doesn't. That means it what is this piece of punctuation called? Whisper if you know. This is called an apostrophe. And it gives us a special clue in a word like this. This is a contraction. What does it tell us? Two words that are going together. So it's a lot of times. So it's less. How about this one? That. That. That's how you say it. And do you know what two words it is? That is. And those two words. Mm -hmm. So it's the same as that. Okay. Then I'll read the rest of this. Yes, let's go.